Now, as I mentioned at the beginning, writing the credentials directly in the configuration file is actually not a good security practice because you're going to be checking this file into a Git repository probably. So you don't want your credentials to be checked in into a Git repository. So you shouldn't hard code these values in here. So first of all, let's actually remove them from here. Let's just leave a region. And there are two ways that we can set these credentials for an AWS user so that Terraform can pick it up. The first one is setting these credentials as environmental variables. So let's go back to the terminal. And here we're going to set environmental variables that Terraform then will pick up. So the first environmental variable is AWS secret access key. And this is, by the way, the same exact environmental variable that we need to set for using AWS command line interface. So this is the same for AWS itself. And the value for this is, we don't need the quotes. And the second one is AWS access key ID. And now if we do Terraform apply, You see that Terraform was able to connect to AWS, even though we don't have credentials in the configuration file for provider block here. So we can actually abort this. I don't have to write no, it can be anything other than yes. So this is basically one way of setting credentials for AWS, in this case specifically, so that Terraform can authenticate with AWS. However, if I now switched to another terminal window and did exporting environmental variables and let's grab AWS, you see that those two environmental variables are not set here because they are only accessible or available in this context, right? So I have this environmental variable set here but they're not available here anymore. So if you want to have a globally configured AWS credentials, then you need to configure them in the home directory dot AWS directory. And here you have credentials, right? So, so basically if you have your credentials here, which is where AWS stores them, which is a default location for storing AWS credentials on any operating system, then Terraform can also pick it up. And the way to set these credentials is using AWS configure. And then you can basically type in the access key ID here, then secret key ID, as well as default region. I already have set these values. So they're basically the existing values that I'm seeing here. If you're doing it for the first time, they will be empty. So you'll have to provide some value. And when you do AWS configure and enter all these values, this .aws directory will automatically get generated with credentials and config files inside. And that will be basically your global AWS user uh, credential configuration. So if I did Terraform apply with variable file, Terraform dev.tfvars, Terraform should be able to use the credentials in .aws credentials file and still be able to authenticate with AWS um, account. And there you go, we see that output. Let's actually do yes. So if Terraform couldn't connect to the AWS account, it will not be able to refresh the state because it needs to fetch the state, the current state from the AWS account to compare it to our desired state and decide what action needs to be taken. So here you see apply complete, the changes were applied. So you should use one of these two ways to configure credentials 
for AWS or any other technology that you're connecting with, could be Google Cloud or could be a Jenkins server or Kubernetes. So instead of typing it or hard coding it into the config file, you should set it either as environmental variables and you will see in the documentation of each provider which environmental variables support it as well as which other ways of setting the credentials from outside is supported. So for example, let's look up Jenkins here and documentation. And there you go. For example, you have the server URL, username and password. And here you have, again, environmental variable names that you can set as an alternative to hard coding the values here so that Terraform can pick up these values to authenticate with Jenkins, as well as some detailed um, documentation about the authentication. So it should work the same no matter which provider you're using. And also note that you can also configure region by setting an environmental variable because in my account on my laptop locally, I have also configured the default region. So if I'm using the default one, I can just uh, basically just leave it empty and basically have the users who are using this Terraform configuration set the region by setting the AWS default region environmental variable. Now, what if you wanted to define your own custom environmental variables? Can you do that in Terraform? In fact, Terraform lets you set global environmental variables using TF underscore var prefix. So let's say we want to work in one specific availability zone and we want that value to be set as a global environmental variable, right? So you could set environmental variable called tf underscore var underscore and this could be any name that we want to give that variable let's say this is um, availability zone and this is the value and know that there should not be space around this equal sign when setting environmental variables so this will now give us environmental variable called tf var Avail zone, and the way we can now reference that environmental variable inside Terraform configuration file is using this part right here. So this prefix basically tells Terraform this is a global variable, and this is the name of the variable we can reference. So I'm going to copy that, just the name of the variable without the prefix, and we're going to declare it as a variable right here. And let's just leave it empty no description or type and we can now reference it and its value using a normal variable. So var dot zone and we're setting this value basically using custom environmental variable of Terraform. And now if we do Terraform apply again, you see that Terraform got that variable from here and since we didn't make a change, um, nothing got applied. Now let's actually set the variable value to 3B. So this will basically tell Terraform to create a subnet in availability zone 3B. So let's see now, Terraform apply. And, and here you see that dev subnet one will be moved from 3A availability zone to 3B easy. We can confirm that. If we go back to our command line and refresh the subnet, you see that it's now in AZ 3B. So basically this is how you can also use custom uh, Terraform environment variable to set Terraform's variable from outside and then reference it like a regular variable. Or we could also say this is another way of setting a variable value in Terraform.